Hi, my name is Tony Vargas, and welcome to my video introduction. If you're watching this video, there's a high likelihood that I'm interested in talking to you about working with your organization, or somebody you know thinks we should meet. Now, over the next few minutes, I'm going to talk about three things I really want you to know about me. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's get started with the obvious. This is a copy of my resume, and I hope you have a copy of it as well. Now it's a document that really only tells uh, one part of my story, the part about where I've worked and what I've done for other organizations. If you're a really good reader of resumes, you might be able to read between the lines and determine that I'm a critical thinker as well as a creative thinker. I take initiative, I learn and master new concepts really quickly, and that I can apply previously learned concepts to new areas and new disciplines. Also, you'd be able to figure out that I like four letter words such as new, work, challenge, and change. But what my resume doesn't tell you is the answer to this question right here. And that's really the first thing I want you to know about me. And you're going to have to figure that out for yourself, actually. Now, you might be thinking that a face-to-face -face interview would put that one to bed right away. In fact, if my resume indicates that I qualify for a role with your organization, from your perspective, answering that question should be the only point of a face-to-face -face interview. But I want you to think about something. Have you ever hired somebody who was minimally qualified but interviewed really well and then later you figured out, eh, wasn't a good fit? Or have you ever not hired somebody who was mega qualified but they didn't interview so well? Here's the bottom line. Everybody who ever looks for a job and interviews for a job is given this one piece of advice. Going into an interview, remember who you are and do your best to not be that person. So in a sense, all interviews are performances. I have to admit that when I've interviewed well, it was a performance. Even this video is a performance in that I've somewhat sketched it out and scripted it out. But here's the deal. This is me right now. I'm relaxed. I'm in my environment. This is who you get. And that's really the whole point of this video. I'm trying to do us both a favor by saving some time and some resources by helping you answer that question before you move on. I'll bet you really want to know what I'm like in an interview and in a high pressure situation, right? You're going to have to get me into your office to figure that out. At this point, you've been watching this video for a couple of minutes. Now, if you're one kind of person, you're going to be a little irritated that you haven't learned anything new about me and that. You're a little mad that you, you're never going to get this time, these last couple of minutes back. Um, you're probably also the kind of person that believes a perfect resume will tell you everything you need to know about a person. Well, look, if that's you, I'm sorry. And thank you for your time. And honestly, you're not the kind of person I want to work with anyway. Just how it is. But maybe you're another kind of person. Maybe, just maybe, you're the kind of person who just realized that there's more to me than it can be put on any piece of paper, on any resume. And maybe you're the kind of person who feels we can mutually benefit from meeting each other. And maybe you're the kind of person who appreciates that I just kind of help make some sense out of your decision making process. Either way. Well, if you're any of those people, then you're somebody I would probably like to work with. At a minimum, I believe I'd find value in meeting you and shaking your hand. Here's the third and final thing I want you to know about me from this video. I teach and I do it well. I have uh, a teacher spirit. I've been told and encouraged to find a role where teaching and mentoring people is critical to what I do. In fact, I want to tell you that I have uh, taken on various roles in the past where I've seen them as temporary as I mentored my replacement. I look at it in the same way all of our favorite high school teachers claim that a big part of what they do is preparing the next generation to come in behind them to teach the next generation. You might be wondering what good is it going to do you to bring in a guy that as he walks in the door is already going to be thinking about how to walk out. I want you to stop and think about your favorite teacher. What was her character like? What did he do to go out of his way to help you learn? What were the lessons that you've never forgotten? Now ask yourself this. Do you think they invested their time, their energy, and their resources in you so that you could fill your brain with information? I don't. I think our teachers and our coaches and mentors, the really good ones anyway, they're in it to see us succeed. And that's me. That's what drives me and motivates me to help others and companies grow and succeed. 
Hey, thanks for watching. And if you've heard anything over the last few minutes that's urging you to call me, uh, I encourage you to not ignore that. Go ahead and reach out to me. You should have my contact information on my resume. And if you don't have my resume, um, my contact information will be at the end of this video and you can just keep watching and it'll be there. Thanks again.